Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, for the very first time, Impact Wrestling emanates from the United Kingdom. We are in London, England, where we kick off phase one of the Impact Invasion. Tonight, TNA Wrestling makes a global impact. The biggest superstars in the industry today, in front of the biggest audience in company history. Wrestling fans are loyal all around the world. It means a lot, you know? It means a whole lot. This thing's a trouble maker. He wants to stick my, his nose into my business, obviously, anywhere in the world. Well, that's, that's great, because I welcome it. For the first time ever, Impact Wrestling and Spike TV take over Wembley Arena. These are my kind of people right here. These are beer drinkers. Beer right drinkers. T-N-A. <laughs> beer drinkers. You care, fearful. This is how we do. We go it hard and show the wrestlers that, hey, just because you're not in the UK doesn't mean we don't love you. Expect the unexpected on this historic night. The leader of the selfish generation, your world heavyweight champion, is here in the UK. Get ready for the edge of your seat action that only Impact Wrestling can deliver. We like real wrestling. Sweat and blood, that's what we like. Impact Wrestling goes global. From Wembley Arena in London, England. And it all starts right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's history in the making. You are looking at the world famous Wembley Arena in London, England. It's Mike Tanay and Taz welcoming you to Impact Wrestling from the UK. And the invasion is underway. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Huge, huge news right there. Speaking of huge, the world heavyweight champion of Bully Ray and Toad in the house here in London, baby. And think about it. It was one week ago tonight. It was over 4,000 miles away in Orlando, Florida, when the world heavyweight champion Bobby Roode and the man watching his back, Immortals Bully Ray, they left their mark. Rooted the bully. They avenged their loss to James Storm and Jeff Hardy in the tag team tables match by power bombing the charismatic Enigma off the ropes and directly through a table. And as you saw right there, Bully Ray, that man Bully Ray was in the ring. As you said, Mike, you put it perfectly, watching the back of the world champ. Bully Ray drove Jeff Hardy through that table in a nasty, violent, vile way for sure.
First of all, let's get one thing perfectly clear. We do not suck. You see this man right here? This man, no, 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 no. This man right here with the largest calves in the world is the biggest, the baddest, the meanest, the toughest, my good friend, Big Bad Bully Ray. And I am the it factor, the leader of the selfish generation and your world heavyweight champion, Bobby Roode. And yes, we are very happy about what we did to that good-for-nothing embarrassment Jeff Hardy last week. But you see, we didn't get the job completely done. So tonight, right here, Right here, right now, James Storm, get your ass out here. Come on, Storm, we know you're here. Come on, Storm, come on, cowgirl. Sorry about your damn luck. Creek swimming. Huge and One thing is very clear, and one thing has been established. James Storm is not intimidated by Bobby Roode and Bully Ray. I can tell you that for the past week, Storm has been lobbying with the man in charge, Sting. He has been demanding for a two-on-one handicap match Storm against Rude and the Bully tonight on Impact Wrestling. Storm better watch himself, and I respect his gusto, but he's, that's a two-on-one situation right now. Storm might get whooped right here, right now, from this capacity crowd here in London. You don't know a damn thing about my wants and needs. So don't be judging. Listen up. Stay right where you are. Don't take one more step forward. Do not even think of coming close to the World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. against all odds, which is perfect because you guys need to get this worked out. So what I've done is I've made a four-way for the world title. You, 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 and Jeff Hardy. <laughs> now, as far as tonight goes, hey, you two are gonna wanna hear this. As far as tonight goes, no two-on-ones, no handicap matches, Okay, 
no, no, I'll tell you what. I'm running the show around here. Cowboy has spoken, and he's going to get both of you tonight, starting with you and ending with you. Right here in this ring. Ooh, it is showtime. Ta-ta for now. announcements from Sting. First, the four-way World Heavyweight title match February the 12th and against all odds. Oh my God, you're kidding. Awesome opportunity for James Storm, Bully Ray, and Jeff Hardy to gun after Bobby Roode's World Championship and against all odds. That's huge, Mike. But to ask first tonight, it's not only the return of Hulk Hogan to Impact Wrestling, but James Storm will meet first Bobby Roode and then Bully Ray in two separate matches. You just saw the big grin on the face of the Cowboy James Storm in the ring with Sting. He's not sweating it. He's got to face two men tonight. Buzz, uh, here at the arena. I'm looking forward to tonight. Can't wait. So, uh, <laughs> just give you a call when you get here. Let me know when you uh, when you get to the building. We'll we'll see you soon. See you, buddy. The following contest scheduled for one fall is a specialty tag match. Introducing first the team of Madness and the Samoan Submission Machine. Samoa Yes, we are anticipating that Garrett Bischoff's trainer will be revealed tonight. We know that Eric Bischoff found out who it was one week ago. Right now, you see Samoa Joe and Magnus out here. I mean, these two guys together, as of late, here at Impact Wrestling, have been super nasty to deal with, to say the least. Homecoming time for Magnus. He's from Norfolk. That's not Virginia, <laughs> Norfolk, England. Where's Joe from? Richmond, not Virginia? Via Samoa. <laughs> and their opponents, the tag team champions, the team of the undefeated Crimson, and the blueprint, Matt Morgan! Week after week, the world tag team champions, Matt Morgan and Crimson, find themselves the recipients of very physical messages being sent by Magnus and Samoa Joe. The champs, well, they prevailed last month at Genesis, but ever since, Magnus and Joe, they won't go away, specializing in these post-match attacks. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a Buckingham brawl. A coin toss will determine which team has a one-man advantage and which team will have to abide by standard tag team rules. Crimson, Morgan, you are the tag team champions. Please call it in the air. Yes. He calls heads. It is Tails. Samoa Joe, Magnus, you have the advantage in this tag team matchup. And a huge advantage it is for Samoa Joe and Magnus in this Buckingham brawl here at Wembley Arena in London. Because of that coin flip, Samoa Joe and Magnus, they're both gonna be able to be in the ring, almost like a tornado tag team match. But on the opposite side, the tag team champions, Crimson and Matt Morgan, it's traditional tag team rules. Yeah, this is tough sledding right here. Whoa, for uh, Crimson. 
This kid, though, he's got great quickness, excellent size. He's tough as hell, so. And still undefeated. Yeah, good point. Oh, boy. Ooh. Inverted atomic drop by Samoa Joe. Follow up with the full extension of the leg by Magnus in the kick. And then the backsplash by Joe. Gonna go for the cover here. Joe on top barely gets a two count. Is that? Mike, you could already in the early goings here start to see that chemistry building week by week by week between Magnus and Samoa Joe. Tell you what, these guys are a nasty team. And we doubted their ability to work together when this, this tag team was first formed, almost like an oil and water combination. Oh, wait, my friend, you doubted them, I didn't. Come on, give me a little credit. I'm well, the guy who picked them, come on. Now you talked about the potential for these two to work ah. together, but who could ever anticipate that their chemistry would be this good? You say potato, I say potato. But right now, speaking of potatoes, a nice shot right there by Crimson. Oh! oh. And a receipt. <laughs> oh, and then the knee drop. Samoa Joe on top. Off the knee drop to cover in two. You know, before joining Impact Wrestling, Magnus starred in UK Gladiators here in England. It's, it's England's version of American Gladiators. Well, that's not helping him much right now. Tell you that right now. I mean, listen, Crimson needs to try to tag Matt Morgan into this match because Joe and Magnus are just picking them apart at will. We knew that it was gonna be advantage to Joe and Magnus from the outset because of the rules of this Buckingham brawl. And they have exploited that advantage from the very outset, from the opening bell of this match. And Morgan obviously frustrated by being forced to stay on the apron and, and abide by the traditional tag team rules. Right there by Crimson. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, nice, but high collar explode a suplex. Crimson gets the tag. The much needed tag now to Morgan. Timing couldn't be better. The world tag team champion is the blueprint in. Series of clotheslines. Magnus able to duck the clothesline off the ropes, but gets caught. Power game of the blueprint with the fall away slam. Here comes Joe. That good quickness right there by Morgan. Dumping Joe out of, right out of the ring. Magnus is in trouble. Ooh. Magnus rocked with the corner clothesline. And then the follow side slam. Right into the pin, two, and Joe in for the save, and that's legal. Well, seems like, seems like a massive impact audience. Our impact fans here in London, England, Wembley Arena, definitely in the corner of their homeboy, Magnus and Samoa Joe. Oh, spear out the corner by Crimson. He takes down Joe. Crimson and Joe out to the arena floor where they battle. Meanwhile, in the ring, Magnus squares off with Morgan. And it's just got out of control, and Morgan, again, awesome clothesline. The Joe and Crimson going to tear each other's eyes out. Morgan setting up in the corner. Could be time for the carbon footprint. Magnus to his feet. Magnus avoids Morgan. Ooh, the joke connects. What a kick. Could be that snap mirror to that elbow, possibly. Oh, the elbow. oh, we've seen it repeated times from this tag team. Elbow off the top. Magnus the cover. Magnus the three cover. And just beat the chance. Your winners, Magnus. And the smooth submission machine, Samoa Joe. For weeks, Samoa Joe and Magnus have been sending that physical message to the World Tag Team Champions that we deserve another shot at those tag title belts. And what a win this was. To me, this establishes them as the top contenders. Well, I agree with that completely. And the rules of this Buckingham brawl, while being, winning that coin toss, definitely helped the advantage towards Samoa Joe and Magnus. But then at some point in this match, listen, he was able, Pearson was able, nice throw there, to get Morgan involved in this matchup. And then it kind of leveled the playing field that at the end of the day, Mike, the most important thing is the challenges. They beat the non-title situation, the champions. That gives Joe and Magnus massive momentum. Bragging rights for Samoa Joe and Magnus. What else besides a shot at the World Tag Team Champions could be in their future?
Well, two big tests for the Cowboy James Storm tonight. Storm will compete against World Heavyweight Champion Bobby Roode, and then Storm will compete against Bully Ray. And check this out. Eric Bischoff backstage here in London. We could be just minutes away from finding out the identity of his son Garrett's trainer. were civilized. You know, for the last several weeks, we've all followed along as my son Garrett has lived his little fantasy and his little bubble about becoming a professional wrestler, trying to follow in my footsteps and become even half the man that I am. Well, I'm here tonight to finally burst that bubble with a good shot of reality. So without further ado, young Garrett, please come to the ring. I'm not gonna ask twice, you snot nose little punk. Get your the ring now. It has been quite a roller coaster ride of emotions for young Garrett Bischoff in recent weeks. Think about the recovery from Gunner's pile driver on the concrete, a pile driver that was orchestrated by his own father. It led to the return to impact wrestling of Garrett Bischoff, but not as a referee. Sting hands him the wrestling boots to signify Garrett as an official member of the roster. Yeah, I know for a fact that was a huge moment for Garrett Bischoff when the icon Sting handed him those boots, basically saying, no more striped shirts for you. Well, black and white ones anyway. It's time for you to wrestle. Enjoy this moment in front of all of these fine fans because it's likely to be your last. But that's okay, Garrett, it's, it's okay to have goals, but what you made the mistake with is your goals became a fantasy. And the difference between a goal and a fantasy is that goals are likely to be achieved with hard work and effort. Fantasies are just that, they're just fantasies. And for you to think for a second that you're gonna bring a trainer in like him and he's gonna train you and take you to higher levels and help you to become, like I said, even half the man that I am. Well, it's just a sad waste of time because you know and I know that it is never gonna happen. He's a coward, 
He's never going to step into the ring and back you up. He's never going to do anything for you. It was just a bad choice, and I'm disappointed in you. You know, Dad, I'm really sorry that you're so upset about the one that I chose to be my trainer. I really am. But if you have such a problem with it, why don't you take it up with him? Are you kidding me? Do you want to con these people into thinking for half a second that he's going to come here all the way to London to back you up? Garrett, you're as delusional as anybody that I've ever met. You know he is not coming here tonight or any other night to help you or to help anybody else. So why don't you just give up that... Excuse me. What are you... Up? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. It is off the chain, bro. Oh. Just what I thought. Just what I thought. Well, Dad, when, when you're right, you're right. But when you are wrong, you are so dead wrong. Because that was him. He is in the building, and he wants to see you right here later tonight. Eric Bischoff calls Garrett's trainer a coward. Eric claims that he's not coming tonight or any other night. But Garrett Bischoff has other ideas. He says no. His trainer is here in the building in Wembley Arena here in London tonight. And Eric Bischoff knows the identity of his son Garrett's trainer. Yeah, Eric Bischoff does know the identity of his son's trainer, and so will we. We're all going to find out tonight. And speaking of tonight, still to come on Impact Invasion from London. James Storm has the first of two tests, and it's against his former partner, world champ Bobby Roode. Well, who would have thunk it? The exhibition champ Austin Aries in action next, and he's gonna challenge a local kid from London, Mark Haskins versus Aries next. And remember, also tonight, Hulk Hogan returns as we present Impact Invasion from London, England. Welcome you back to Impact Invasion. Taz, check this out. It's Big Ben. No, it's not the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback. It's the nickname for the great bell at the clock at the Palace of Westminster. My name's Mark Haskins. I got into wrestling when I was nine years old. I love fast-paced, um, action-packed wrestling, and that is exactly what the X Division is. And from the moment that I saw it, that is the style that I've trained in since day one. This has been something that I've been working towards my entire life. And now that I'm here, I'm going to grab it with both hands. Why am I going to be X Division Champion over anyone else? I've come across so many different styles in like the few years that I've been wrestling. I've been to Japan, I've been through Europe, I've wrestled everyone that there is. I'm the top performer from Europe today. And the fact of the matter is, is that when guys need to learn how to really go in the ring, they come to England. And this is my house, this is my home. I'm on a level which other guys in the X Division are not. I can go. I can go better than they can. I can outperform them. If I'm in the X Division, I'm going to be the champ. The following X Division contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from right here in London, England, Mark Haskins! When TNA toured the UK last year, 23-year-old Mark Haskins caught the attention of management to the point he was invited to compete at Destination X, our X Division pay-per-view. We have seen Mark Haskins here on Impact Wrestling recently when he was in the X Division rankings match last August. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, the X Division champion, Austin. Well, here comes the man of the hour right here, man. My man, Austin Aries, the exhibition champ. Mike, help me out with something. Did I hear young Mr. Hackers 
saying is promo package. Basically, when wrestlers want to really learn how to go, they come here to London. Is that what he said? That's what he said. Well, in my opinion, as an ex-competitor, I disagree with that completely. And I think Austin Aries right there with that shiny exhibition gold, he would disagree also. Well, he is cocky, he's confident, the X Division champ, A-double Austin Aries. He's told us that he is not going to sweat this home ring advantage for young Mark Haskins. Now, I want to be clear on something here. I think there has been some amazing, amazing wrestlers that come out of this great country. And, you know, no doubt about it, I don't want to get hung up in that, but to say that this is the place, you know, where you really go-go, I don't know, I don't agree with that. I think that's in the good uh, old USA. Again, my opinion. Well, US versus England here in this X Division non-title matchup, and the champ takes it right to young Mark Haskins here in the opening minute. We talked about how cocky, how confident he is, self-proclaimed greatest man who ever lived. Yeah, he may not be defending the title tonight, but Aries must put that belt on the line. Sunday, February the 12th, and against all odds, Austin Aries will meet number one contender, Alex Shelley of the Motor City Machine Guns. Listen carefully to our massive capacity crowd. I hear an Austin Aries chant, and he's from America. That's what I said, he wasn't gonna sweat a whole ring advantage, but they're actually cheering for Aries in this match. And how smart is this for Haskins to try and get under the skin of the champ? I think it's very smart on Haskins, that would work. Yeah, because listen, Aries does not, like, does not like to be disrespected. He feels he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. That's Alex Shelley's finishing move. Well, that too. <laughs> the abdominal strap right here of uh, Mark Haskins. Look at this now. Whoa, nice. Well done. Snaps off the head scissors. Catches him with a version of a leg lariat. Aries pops right back up to his feet. Haskins on him with the offense. You gotta try to keep the pressure on Austin Aries because he'll turn the tide quick on you. He's gonna turn the tide. Well, let's see if he can skin the cat like Haskins did. Oh! oh. oh. Man, Aries took a little bit too long there with that grin on his face. Hey, Haskins measures. Slingshots out to the apron. Aries quickly slides in. Double sledge from the inside out. Springboard, but no. Oh, stopped and cut off in mid-move. His left leg got hung up in the top rope. His knee definitely got tweaked up there. And what a bad landing out on the concrete for young Mr. Haskins. As Aries perched up on top. Gonna go high risk. Here he comes. Wow, big time, big time double axe to the top of the head by the X Division champion, Austin Aries. Ah. How about the way that our X Division champion, Aries, came here to the UK? and challenge the hometown hero, Mr. Haskins, who gets caught with a big, high-flying elbow across the chest, Aries into the cover, still a two-count. Do you really think Mark Haskins is a hometown hero, or is that an overstatement? Oh, yeah, maybe an overstatement. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. Hometown product. Yes. Is that yes. better? That, that's definitely better. Open hand slapped to the chest by the champ. Haskins in trouble at this point, not able to defend himself, and Aries goes up to meet him. Look at that, Haskins really fighting away up top there. Good job by Mark Haskins to get Aries off him. Watch this kid now, he can fly. Ooh. Smart move by Aries making contact with the top ring rope. Yeah, landed right there on the yam bag, right here in the UK, a little yam bag action. Crouched in the corner, look out. Attempted the drop kick into the corner. Haskins avoids him and then comes right back, flying forearm shot. Yeah, nasty forearm right there. Haskins trying to follow up. Head of steam out of the corner. Monkey flip sends the X Division title holder all the way across the ring. Put on the brakes right there, the X Division champ. Crashed and burned and has that tip up. Nice athleticism. Look at that. Oh, springs one side to the other. Into the crossbody and gets a near fall. Forearm rocks it, and then covers him down. Straight to the canvas, into the pin. Hooked and over his team. Wow, what a victory. That would have been probably the biggest victory in this kid's career, right in his hometown. 
of London if he would have got a win on the exhibition champ. Here goes Hoskins again. Oh my God, went for a shooting star press off the top. And he landed head first on the mat. Oh, oh, oh. Harry senses the opening. See if he can capitalize. Oh. Kick to the head and then the brain buster. Just tap out. That just call the match. That kid's done. Holy crap. The winner, Austin Harry. That was bad, man. He went in. What about that landing, Mike? I hope this kid's okay, man. I hope Haskins is okay. That's why they're called High Risk Moves, Zero Reward for Young Mark Haskins. Austin Aries, the X Division champion, gains the win. How about the brain buster right after that missed shooting star well, press? It's, it's listen, right there, Austin Aries showing no remorse, hence why he's the X Division champ. No remorse. Let's take another look here at, at the action in, in this match. Again, we saw you know, two excellent X Division athletes. One's the champion, one isn't. I mean, it was a back and forth contest. Great showing by young Bob Haskins right here. He's from London. So, I mean, he did a hell of a showing by the Exhibition champ, but Mike, oh, that was it. He went for that shooting star press, that gainer. Oh my God, look at it. It gets tougher to watch each time, doesn't oh it? Oh my God, it's what I don't know. Hopefully he didn't break his, his neck or have you know, any kind of spinal injury. And then look at that. Brain Buster, hands onto the head, into the bridge and submission. No remorse by Aries. Strong victory right here in London. Still to come tonight on Impact Invasion from London. It's the knockouts in action when Tara faces the champion, Gail Kim. Yeah, but up next, my cowboy Jane Stall goes one on one versus the world heavyweight champion, Bobby Roode. That is next. That's Stall's first match, also. My name's Tossan. Tossan, T O S A N. Oh, hell yeah, especially Velvet Sky. I'm head of a pigeon army. Let the pigeons loose. I know she's not. I know she's not here in Manchester. I know she's in London. But I've got, I've got, a, I've got a fan page of her on Twitter. So I tweeted to her and I said to her, yeah, "I know you're not in Manchester, but I'm still going to bring Pigeon Fever, no matter what, because I am a member of the Pigeon Army. If you type it on Twitter, hashtag Pigeon Army, you'll see all us Pigeon fans tweeting about Velvet to let the pigeons loose, no matter where you are. So Velvet, Mark, it's for you. I'm Danny, and that's Lucy. We're here tonight to celebrate my hen party, my, my bachelorette party. So, how's Patrick? Who's your favorite wrestler? Alex Shelley. <laughs> Alex Shelley. Why Alex Shelley? Uh, he's my favorite wrestler. Definitely. He has the best moves. And also, sticking up home because I haven't seen them before. First time they came to the UK, so definitely excited to see them. I love both the X Division and the Tag Team Division. It needs a bit of both. And The fact that they've got the tag division and the X division the championship, yeah, it's awesome. and they care about the fans. They put on so oh, many events. We've, I've, I've been to two TNA fan parties this year. Um, you know, countless the meet and greet as well. They the do. treat us as actual people rather than fan number X, Y, and Z. So, yeah, definitely. They really they're they look after us well. <laughs> As we welcome you back to Impact Invasion from London. This, ladies and gentlemen, is phase one of the biggest month ever here on Impact Wrestling. And this is the Tower Bridge on the River Thames. The fans have spoken. Impact Wrestling knockout, Brooke Tessmacher, AKA Brooke Adams, has made it to the final eight of the Hooters Dream Girl Contest. Yeah, see Brooke on the Hooters special on speed this weekend. Check your local listings. And remember to go to impactwrestling.com to find out how you can vote every day for Brooke to help our knockout become the 2012 Hooters Dream Girl. Would you just get me a bloody cab? No, not a cab in a Sauvignon. A cab, you know, four tires, four wheels, takes people to and from for pay. Okay, a tax. 
Siri canceled cab. <laughs> Relax. Relax. Hey, come on. Hey, he's not coming anyway, right? Garrett's trainer? That's what you said, right? Oh, come on. Besides that, the show's this way. Come on. After you. Let me get that door for you. For Eric Bischoff, he's going to have to face the music. He's also going to have to face his son, Garrett's trainer, tonight. Yeah, cannot wait to see how that thing unfolds, that's for sure. Speaking about cannot wait to see, how about this right now, man? Cowboy James Storm, former world heavyweight champion, going one-on-one -on -one against the current world heavyweight champion, his former buddy, his former peer money partner, Bobby Roode. And his opponent from Toronto, Canada, the World Heavyweight Champion, Bobby Roode. The change in attitude, the change in actions of Bobby Roode can be directly traced to the November Impact Wrestling moment when he smashed the beer bottle over the head of James Storm. That action. It drove home the point that friends or family not important to Bobby Roode. The only thing that Roode needs in his mind is the World Heavyweight Championship because he is the most selfish man in the world. I'll tell you what, Mike, you could just sense you and I right out here amongst the sea of humanity, if I can use that cliche, for our massive audience in attendance here tonight. The sense of disdain and hatred towards our world champion, Bobby Roode. Consensus opinion here from this jam-packed crowd. Capacity crowd in Wembley Arena in London, England is exactly that for the world heavyweight title holder, Bobby Roode. This is the first of two tests tonight for that man, the Cowboy James Storm. Yes, not only will Storm go one-on-one -on -one against his former Beer Money Tag Team partner, Bobby Roode, right here and right now, but as a result of Sting's ruling later tonight, James Storm, also a singles match against Immortals' Bully Ray. Well, let's call a, a spade a spade here, Mike. I mean, Cowboy James Storm, he wanted this, right, didn't he? He wanted to fight both these men He tonight. actually asked for a handicap match Two against one. Sting said, you'll get two separate singles matches tonight. Nice switch up the uh, hammerlock right there by the world champion, Bobby Roode. About switching hammerlocks, there goes Storm. Taz, let's talk about potential game plans and strategies, especially when these individuals know each other so well after so many years together as a tag team. Uh, it's very hard. I mean, both these men have very similar styles from each other, and they obviously both know each other so well. Being one of the greatest tag teams of all time here in Impact Wrestling, so it's tough to say who has the advantage on the other, it really is. Knee drop, leg drop, follow, and then the quick pin attempt for two by James Storm. Non-title matchup tonight against the World Heavyweight Champion Bobby Roode, and Storm taking it right to the champ. Oh, you know Storm has got to be loving this opportunity whoa, whoa. to get his hands on. Bobby Roode almost caught that last call super kick right there on the champion. Didn't hit the last call, but what a nice series of moves it was by the Cowboy. Well, exactly, the Cowboy and James Storm definitely cooking on all cylinders right here, as you can see in this replay, which caused the champion get out of dodge and regroup. Almost got beat there. Can James Storm keep this momentum on his side? Bobby Roode trying to slow him down. More of Storm and Roode right after this. Oh, 
return to Impact Invasion from Wembley Arena in London, England. It's James Storm, the Cowboy, against the World Heavyweight Champion, Bobby Roode. And we will continue the biggest month in Impact Wrestling history next week. We're going to be back in the UK again with a very special Star Wars edition of Impact Wrestling. Oh, I cannot wait to see what that's all about next week. Special edition, Star Wars special edition, as you said, right here from the UK, right here from London. What is that about, man? It's going to be cool. The momentum that Cowboy James Storm had even before the commercial break. And then when we return, has been completely turned around by the World Heavyweight Champ, Bobby Roode. Series of shoulder blocks in the corner, and then the chop to the chest. Well, you're right, Mike. I mean, James Storm had, throughout our commercial break, he was in control, man. He was bouncing Bobby Roode all over this ring. But right now, looks like the champion. Bobby Roode has turned the tables. You hear Storm scream out in pain from the contact made in the corner. Champ brings his former tag partner, the Cowboy, back out to the middle of the ring. Gonna take him high up into the air, and front suplex drops him straight down. Here's the pin, here's two. You've been partners for so many years with someone and traveled with them, trained with them. you shared your personal life with them and vice versa. You know their weaknesses and their strengths. So we're seeing right now, the world champion Bobby Roode exploit the weaknesses of James Storm. How about the way that Bobby Roode, the world heavyweight champion, has zeroed in, focused his attack on the midsection of Storm, who tries to fight back with a series of rights? Yeah, but anytime you have some kind of a midsection injury or some issues there, it's tough to. Ow! to have a lot of impact on anything you do. This might be it, Yeah, you saw the impact of the ball again by Rude. Right to the stomach and midsection of Storm as he elevated him high into the air, but the world champion only able to gain a two count. You can see the frustration, the frustration in the face of the world champion, Bobby Rude. He thought he was gonna get the victory there, but it didn't happen. Oh, God, again, focused on the midsection. Look at that. And the shoulders of Storm are down for two before you see the quick reaction as he was able to get that shoulder up just before the referee counted three. Oh, reverse gut wrench right here. You heard Bobby Roode looking right in the ring there, asking referee Brian Hepp to, to ask him, to ask Storm if he gives up. Tough to breathe, man. Tough to breathe when you got a midsection injury and the world champion squeezing the life out of him. Crowd reacts as Storm gets back to his feet. Series of elbow shots to the side of the head. Let Rock Rude for just a second, but then Rude caught Storm coming in. Here comes the champ, and that time Storm nailed him. Here he comes. Quick whoa, 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 whoa. Storm's got him here. Well, you can hear that. Uh, that uh, you know, all, all audience right here. All of these people are really behind the Cowboy James Storm. Feeling it, Storm. as both Rude and Storm exchange blows. What a response here at Wembley Arena in London, England, as we kick off Impact Invasion. Oh, what a haymaker right there by the Cowboy. Just lit up Bobby Rude right in the face. What a shot. Massive uppercut. That just shut Rude down. Weak and Rude in a precarious position. Here, perched up on the top. Storm gonna try and go up and meet him. Storm gonna go all the way to the top. Oh man, this is dangerous right here. What? How about that from James Storm? Gotta take another look at this top rope move from the Cowboy. Yeah, take another look for sure. Excellent athleticism. Cowboy James Storm leaving it all in the ring. Just think, Mike, this is only one contest he has tonight. He's still gotta compete after this against Bully Ray. So for James Storm, it would certainly be advantage to get this win on Bobby Roode as soon as possible, knowing he's got another match still to come. Off the ropes, momentum with the clotheslines. And then the flying forearm shot right between the eyes of the champ. Ooh, standing switch, both knees delivered to the back of Bobby Roode by Storm. Well, whatever you got in your mind right now, Storm trying to nail it as soon as possible while you got Bobby Roode, the champion, down.
crowd shows their support as Storm comes off the top again. Oh! Big time elbow drop. Hit his leg hook. No! Oh! Wow. Oh, man, that was close. Let's take a look back. Watch the impact of Storm's body landing on Rude's body. Watch this. Boom! Big time elevation off the top, but he was not able to put the champ away. Exactly. Those are little nuances, that toughness, that intestinal fortitude that Bobby Roode has, like it or not, hence why he's the world champion. Roode back to the strategy that we've seen throughout this match. First the knee to the midsection, then the chop, then Storm with the ropes, and Storm tries to fight back. Attempt to oh, push oh. and leg sweep, but it instead it's countered by Roode, who drops down. Is he got a cross face here? He sure does. He has a cross face on. We've seen Roode use this submission multiple times. And gain so many wins. Absolutely. Storm is in trouble. Big trouble. The champ has got the, the arm seized of Storm at the same time, cranking back on the head and the neck of Storm, who's thinking about tapping right here. Referee right in position. Is Storm going to tap? I've been in that hole, man. It hurts like hell. Look at that nice roll through by Storm to utilize the ropes to break that submission hole. He just got that momentum going in his way and was able to make contact with the ropes, and that's all it takes to get the break. That's a veteran move. That's excellent ring presence to know where you are in the middle of the ring. And you can sense that Bobby Roode felt that he had this match won. World heavyweight champ thought he was going to get the submission win over his former tag team partner. Roode back to the offense. Storm looks like he's in trouble here. Yeah, not much fight out of Storm. Let me go for that fisherman bust. Oh. Tried it, but Storm able to turn it around on it. Doubles him over first with the boot. He's going to take him up here, potentially for the eye of the storm. Can he do it? Well, that, that offense put on his midsection. Not much behind the eye of the storm. And again, back to the midsection. There's the fisherman suplex. Right into the pin. Can we go? Here's the boot. Oh. Just about to blow a gasket is Bobby Roode. He's shocked he didn't get the win. Thought he was going to get whoa, the tap whoa. out win just a minute ago. Thought he was going to get the pinfall win there and tries to intimidate the referee, Brian Hebner. Now what? What's Rude got in his mind now? Down to the ringside area. Took his world heavyweight title belt away from Jeremy Borash. Take his ball home. What is he doing? Rude brings the title belt into the ring right in the view of the referee, who he pushes to the side. Well, it wouldn't be the first time Rude intentionally disqualified himself. Ooh, nice counter. Way to think on your feet, James Storm. Storm calls that closing time. And you know what closing time grabs up? No, no, wait a minute. Bully Ray, the man who's been watching Bobby Rude's back, puts the leg of Storm. Storm distracted. Rude with the spear out of the corner. They roll him over. Rude on top for the pin. Two and he gets the win because of Bully Ray. I'll tell you what, I mean, listen, Bully Ray interjecting himself in this match, that little teeny bit of an opening that Bobby Roode saw thanks to Bully Ray. I'll tell you what, man, the champion took advantage of James Storm and got a quick one, two, three. I mean, that's highway robbery at its latent best. Roode closed the deal, getting the pin because of Bully Ray. But now it looks like, well, they're not satisfied with just this win. And remember, Bully Ray is going to face Storm later tonight. Going to oh try God. and weaken him even more. Oh! Oh God. There's going to be anything left of James Storm later when he's got to compete against Bully Ray. Here comes the Stinger now. Fortunately for Storm, Sting comes to the ring. World Heavyweight Champion and the Bully both throw it into reverse. Well, judging by what we just heard from Sting, he's going to be keeping his eyes on the World Heavyweight Champion, Bobby Roode, because later tonight, James Storm has to go to battle one more time against Bully Ray. What condition will the Cowboy James Storm be in? I mean, the guy can hardly stand up, and he's got to face big, bad Bully Ray. I mean, Sting, you see in the background there in the ring, Sting's got to help Storm to his feet. More from the UK when we return to Impact Invasion. Oh, yes. Rick oh, from, yes. from oh, West 
Yorkshire, and I'm here to see Sting and Hulk Hogan. I'm Rippers! Straight up, TNA's a lot more non-stop action. It's non-stop with, you know, the no spare area. I went to a low-budget show called 1PW, and they had a lot of TNA wrestlers there. Non-stop the action. It's not all chit-chat chat. They're not trying to bring you in with all this commercial stuff. It's all about the wrestling. It's not about the commercial. Because we're, we're faithful, the UK, faithful. This is how we do. You know what I mean? We love his wrestling, that's how we do. My name's Ronnie and I'm from Staffordshire. Uh, Velvet Sky, the knockout. Tara. And Miss Tess Mark is not here. Uh, well, I liked it when uh, some Kong was there. What women that are strong. Um, Madison sold out. Um, but we like her. Uh, oh, I'm not allowed to be rude, am I? <laughs> we like kicks and off, baby. Plenty of it. Um, to take wrestling series, we like the, all these submission holes. We like real wrestling, as well as the fawn and the ante. We like real wrestling. Sweat and blood, that's what we like. Makes us feel part of America, and um, we've got some English, um, like Doug Williams. Uh, some of us follow the local um, heroes, and Doug uh, does local fights. And when we've seen him TNA, it makes us want to be a part of it. As we're back on Impact Invasion from the UK, February, the biggest month in Impact Wrestling history, continues. And remember, Hulk Hogan returns tonight. The following knockout contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from San Bernardino, California, Tara! It was last week here on Impact Wrestling when the status as number one contender for the Knockouts title was at stake. Yes, the three-way match, and Tara grabbed a huge victory last week, and she was crowned number one contender for Gail Kim's DNA Championship. And her opponent from Toronto, Canada, one half of the Knockout Tag Team Champions and the Knockout Champion, Gail Kim! And it's Gail Kim accompanied by Madison Rain. Certainly a unique set of circumstances for both the Knockout Champion, Gail Kim, as well as Tara tonight at Wembley Arena here in London, England, because the two Knockouts who will fight for the championship February the 12th and against all odds, they are set to meet right now in a non-title bout, just 10 days before they square off for the championship. I gotta tell you, Mike, I don't think there's any benefit whatsoever for the knockout champion, Gail Kim, to be in this match right here, right now, tonight. I, there's there's what no a, benefit what, to her. What about for Tara? Same situation, isn't it? Oh, huge benefit for Tara. She's getting a shot just to compete one-on-one -on -one against the knockout champion. Even though the title's not at stake, she's getting an opportunity full scouting right here. But doesn't Tara risk showing too much strategy in this non-title match? Yeah, yeah, I think that definitely, that can happen. I mean, but I think Tara's enough of a veteran not to do that. But that could happen. I mean, listen, the, uh, oh! Right oh, here we go, here we go. Tara gonna try and put away Gail in the opening minute of the match, but only able to get two. I mean, to be honest, I mean, the, I hate to use this, but I mean, listen, I call it the way I'm seeing it, the gun is to the head of the champion right now. She's gotta try and end this match quick, get a victory, and get out of here. That's it, if you Gail Kim, that's what you gotta try to do. How about the interference from outside of the part of Madison Rain turning the complexion of this match immediately in favor of knockout champ Gail Kim. Well, that's what Madison does so well. She kind of is on the same page as Gail Kim all the time. I guess that's why they're Ooh. the knockout tag team champions also. So definitely Gail will utilize Madison on the outside at times to help. Well, Tara at a severe disadvantage at this point. And, and now Gail gonna try and make her way in Sunset Flip style, but oh, just as, just as Tara was trying to react, she got drilled right in the back by Gail Kim. It was a stiff kick right in the tailbone by Gail to, uh, to, to Tara. 
And follows it up right in that same area. Knee to the back again, and then a near fall. Right back on top, another pin attempt, and another two count from senior official Earl Hebner. Well, you see Gail Kim, the knockout champ, showing excellent tenacity. She couldn't get the, the victory on the first cover. She went for another. And look at this, we've seen her utilize this submission before. She knows, Gail knows that Tara's got an injured wheel or knee, that massive brace on her knee. So look at Gail trying to, you know, zone in on the injury. Look at the pain that Tara's in. And she's trying to fight through that pain and at the same time, trying to use the crowd here at Wembley Arena in London to gain some momentum back on her side. But any thought of that is immediately dismissed by that Gail Kim clothesline. Look at Gail Kim, knockouts champ. She's just gorgeous. She has no confidence problem at all. She is just sitting pretty right now. Go back to this non-title match, just 10, 10 days before the championship showdown and against all odds. To me, the edge might be for Tara if she was able to get a win here against the champ. That could be a mental advantage going into the pay-per-view. Oh, if, if Tara were to get the Tara were to get the victory on Gale? Yes. Oh, absolutely. I totally agree with that. I mean, that would definitely put the momentum swing in the side at against all odds towards the challenge of Tara. Totally agree with that. Nice front face lock right here. Good counter out. Trying to roll through. Got a cover. Kept it a roll up. Trying to get the weight of Gale over so that she could get the pin. Not able to do so. And Gale right back. Just want to point something out, Mike. The, just a simple boot to the stomach by oh. Gale with the point of her boot. Not the flat part of her boot. boot the point of her boot. That shows the intent that Gale Kim has. It hurts a lot more when you pick the point of your boot in someone's gut as opposed to the flat part. Tara was powered down by that neck break. Oh, Gale goes to follow. Oh my God. Off the top, but Tara able to slide away. And no water in the pool there. <laughs> now the opening is here for Tara. She's got to try and get to a vertical base before Gale, but now they kind of get up at the same time. And they exchange and see who gets the better of it. Series of rights, the strikes from Tara. Well, here comes Tara now, she's trying to just lock some moves together, a chain of moves together to get the momentum to swing towards her side. First what? gets the suplex, then it's a big time, high back body drop. But Gale has an answer out of the corner. Oh, speaking of an answer, how about the snap slam? Nice, nice to try to... Get involved a little bit, and Tara popped her for, uh, for jumping up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Whoa! Communication issues between the knockout tag team champions. Madison Rain takes down her own partner, Gail Kim. Now, Madison sent out to the floor, oh, and man. Tara now one on one situation. Widow's the Peak right there. Widow's Peak from Tara. They're rolling the champ over, and cover, and two, and three. Huge victory for Tara in this non-title matchup, and now it's time for our direct impact of the night. It's brought to you by Direct Auto Insurance. Well, you put it best, Mike. I mean, communication issues for Madison and Gail Kim. Gail, a knockout champion, finds herself on the losing end against her challenger, competing against her against the line. And that is tonight's direct impact of the night. It's brought to you by Direct Auto Insurance. For a free quote, call 877-GO-DIRECT or visit directgeneral.com. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth has arrived. Garrett Bischoff, he's on his way to the ring here in London, and we are now just moments away from finding out who his trainer is. Yay! TNA! TNA! Christy, I want you to meet some of my oh good my friends gosh. here. In Manchester, Woo! you got all kinds of great fans. You got fans that came all the way from from Scotland. Look at these guys! Come on out! Look at these skirts. They're skirts. beautiful. They're kilts. They're not skirts. Kilts. kilts. I'm sorry. I want one of those. Nice guys. High five up there. Right down here, we got Sting fans. Look at this oh, guy. Look at the Sting guys. He's fantastic. Stinger's signing right over there, by the oh, way. Oh, he'll totally yeah. sign that. And I know that there are some uh, Hulk Hogan fans here. Oh, I'm sorry. I know that there are some Kurt Angle fans here. How about a 
AJ Styles. How about Christy Hemme? Hey! Of course. And right down here, we got a young man. Look oh, at this guy. Man. He's, where are you from? Um. He's got to ask his dad. <laughs> He's already had a few pints. You have to excuse him. No, I'm kidding. Uh, everybody's dressed up. We're all excited. And you know why this we're excited? Your hometown? Well, it's kind of my hometown. It's kind of. Anybody heard of a city called uh, Leicester? Yeah. I have actually have a place in Leicester. Anybody know where Leicester is? So so? Okay. I'll have to take you there sometime, Christy. These are Christy. your peeps. These are my peeps. We're in Manchester, and in my opinion, Woo! the loudest fans in the world live in Manchester. Woo! That's my opinion. The one thing I can tell you about being here, it's so similar to the United States, is wrestling fans are loyal all around the world. It doesn't matter who you are. There's so many of these people that say that they've been following me since the 80s. I mean, a long time. And uh, some of them, you know, I was here in 92 when you wrestled in Manchester. I was in Ireland when you were, when you were there <clears throat> way back when. And it means a lot, you know. It means a whole lot. And by the way, when they ask for a photo, it's a photo. And we are back on Impact Invasion from London, England. We are back at Wembley Arena in London. Garrett Bischoff, the young man who has had the dream to become a professional wrestler, is about to tell the world who his trainer is. I can't wait to see who it is. We know that Eric Bischoff knows who it is. And Mr. Bischoff not too excited that the world's about to find out who's been training his little son, who's not so little, by the way. <laughs> You're right, Eric Bischoff, he knows who the trainer is, and we are about to find out that trainer's identity right now. First of all, I'd like to start off by saying thank you to each and every single one of you guys for having my back and supporting me through all this. Thank you. But, without any further ado, the man that's been training me, the man that I look up to, now what? Well, seems like, uh, oh, maybe Daddy's gonna spoil the moment? I don't know. Just when it looked like Garrett Bischoff was going to reveal to the world who his trainer is, he's interrupted by his father. Who's not alone, by no, the way. No, no, not coming alone. Immortals boss, Eric Bischoff, accompanied by Immortals Mr. Intensity Gunner, who, by the way, is the individual who hospitalized Garrett Bischoff with that vicious pile driver on the concrete that was orchestrated by his own father. Garrett, look, we've got spies with eyes in the back of their heads. He's not here, he's not coming. So given that there's two of us and one of you, why don't you give this up before you get hurt?
Uh-oh. It's going to go from bad to worse. side of the fence so now that he's crossed the line he knows he's got this monster target on his back what better way to reinforce it than thousands and thousands of TNA Hulkamaniacs right here in London telling him how bad he is and how bad he's gonna get his butt kicked so at the end of the day you can run but you can't hide because hear him they're still looking for him I mean if he runs in the back and hides I wouldn't be surprised if all these London Hulkamaniacs grab him by the seat of the pants and throw him right at mine and Garrett's beck and feet. Did you see the look on his face when Hulk's music hit? It was like somebody walked over his grave. And I love it. You know what? He didn't believe me. He didn't buy it. He wasn't thinking straight. He found out quick tonight. I mean, he's a marked man is what I'm saying. And if we're going to hunt him out, sniff him out, or if the Hulkamaniacs have to throw him out like yesterday's garbage, he's going to end up at my feet. So Eric Bischoff, you got about that much time left, brother. About that much time. About the same size as everything else you got. 18 years. 18 years. What can I say? We don't need no prenup here. The love affair lives on. 18 years since I've been out in front of my UK Hulkamaniacs. It's not stopping here. They're loyal to a fault. They're with me. And when I put the hunting dogs, which I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to go back out there and I'm going to tell my maniacs to sniff this dirty dog out. I'm going to have them sniff Eric Bischoff out. When they sniff him out, it's not going to get pretty because the first thing I'm going to do is feed him to his son. And then I'll take the leftovers. No problem, brother. Well, you know, I don't even think TNA really understands how great they are. Their destiny, their birthright is to be a thousand times greater than they are right now. I can see it, I can smell it, I can feel it. I smell blood with TNA. They're right on the verge, the cutting edge, a rolling right off the top of the mountain onto what we call the greatest company of all time. They're this close. TNA is this close because they're doing everything right and there's no stopping them now. I got my feet back underneath me. If I gotta be the hood ornament that you put on the front of the ship to bust through the ice cubes, to see through the fog, to feel through the darkness of the night, 
I can be the guy because I smell the greatness already. And if they don't smell them, I'm going to take everybody in TNA and I'm going to stuff their heads in it because greatness is their destiny in TNA. And that's what's next for TNA. Nothing but total greatness. Watching the back of the World Heavyweight Champion Bobby Roode, and the bully came through once again earlier tonight. His interference allowed Roode to defeat James Storm. Now the bully has to go head to head with Storm, but the question is, what condition is the cowboy James Storm going to be in? Well, James Storm is served up on a silver platter right now for Bully Ray, in my opinion. I mean, I, I don't know the condition of Storm, but I, I do know what he went through out here with Bobby Roode earlier tonight. It was a hellacious battle. So, uh, right now, Bully Ray is fresh as a daisy. I'm sure he doesn't smell like a daisy, but he's fresh as a daisy. I know him, and I know he doesn't smell like a daisy. Sorry about your damn luck. And his opponent, from Leapers Court, Tennessee, Talked about the condition of James Storm and check out the tape midsection and ribs. Yeah, you know, that's the thing we don't know. I mean, does he have a broken rib? Does he have, uh, you know, something inflamed inside of his abdomen? Who knows? I mean, does he have a pulled ab abdominal muscle? I mean, it could be a, a bunch of different things. Uh, but definitely not 100% James Storm. So you can see he's a little cautious stepping in the ring because he knows Bully Ray is a vile, vicious competitor. And revenge has to be on the mind of the Cowboy, James Storm. He doesn't have to wait until the four-way world title match and against all odds to get his hands on Bully Ray. How's that rip, boy? How's that rip? I'm gonna break your ribs! I'm gonna break your ribs! I'm gonna bust you up! I'm gonna break your ribs! I'm gonna break your ribs! I'll tell you what, we're in London. I think people in Sheffield and Manchester just heard Bully Ray. Well, no secret what his strategy is going to be in this match against James Storm. Pretty he's obvious. Bust his ribs, right? He's bust his ribs. That's right. <laughs> I heard him. <laughs> and that's smart. That's smart for Bully Ray to go after that, that injury, you know, the injury that uh, James Storm, unfortunately, has no option but to show. He needs to have his ribs taped up to have some support in his midsection. And as you pointed out, Bully Ray, his first match of the night. He's fresh. He's ready to go. James Storm go, already that go, one go, long go. match against Bobby Roode, and now he's got to go into our Impact Wrestling main event against the Bully. I'm going to break him on you. I'm going to break him on you. I'm going to break him. Explosive offense from Storm out of the corner. Cowboy with a series of rights. Bully to the ropes and back by the job. But that had to hurt. Pushing up close to 300 pounds or whatever Bully weighs right, right now. All of that on your, your midsection as you back arch into a back drop. I don't know who felt that more, Bully Ray or Storm. You can see Storm in a bad way right now. Yeah, look how quickly advantage turns back to Bully Ray. Because of the one well-placed knee to the injured area of Storm. And now Bully Ray, oh, he's got his focus dead set on what he's going to do against Storm tonight. Easy pickings. You just take your time right now. Oh, look at his body shots here. You just take your time. He's wide open right here, Bully Ray, to just wear out the midsection of James Storm. I like that idea. You dictate the pace, you take your time, because the longer this match goes, I think it's going to be advantage Bully Ray because Storm's already competed once out here. Well, not just that, but because of the ribs. Oh, my God. And breathing. It's tough to breathe when you have a rib issue or an abdominal issue. I'm going to break your ribs. This might be broken already. Look at that. Oh, man, look at that. All that weight standing right on James Storm. And that follows that, that vicious slingshot maneuver as Storm went springing back midsection first across that top steel cable. Great, great opportunity right here for Bully Ray. They just snap on this submission hold version of a camel clutch. Arch back the man, fish hook in his mouth. 
doesn't miss a trick, does he? Oh, hey, that's how it's done. It's not ballet. Ooh. All part of the beatdown process. And Bully Ray executing that to perfection. He's got the cowboy down and well, just pulling at the protective tape. Not sure that was going to help Storm much anyway. How about the power of that mid-ring slam by Bully Ray? And well, looks like the Bully's going to have some backup of his own. World Heavyweight Champion Bobby Roode making his way down to the ringside area. Can Bully Ray continue this domination of James Storm? We'll find out when we return to Impact Invasion from the UK. And we are back on Impact Invasion from Wembley Arena in London, England. And throughout the commercial break, it's oh. been all Bully Ray against James Storm, but here comes the great equalizer. It's Sting headed to the ring. That's not the trademark black baseball bat. That's a black cricket bat. Yeah, there's no baseball in these here parts, but there is cricket. <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty bad news, man. If Sting whacks somebody, especially Rue with that cricket bat, that would leave a mark. It's all about leaving a mark. Look at Bully Ray right back to the midsection. Side bear hug. Beatdown continues from Bully Ray, and February is going to be the biggest month in Impact Wrestling history. Another broadcast from the UK next week, and it's going to be a very special Star Wars edition. There's nothing like the Impact Invasion. It's all about Star Wars edition next week here on Impact. Bully Ray is like Darth Vader right now. Boy, you're right, he's like Darth Vader. Bully Ray taking people out like Jeff Hardy last week. And remember, no one has seen Abyss since the Monsters Ball back at Genesis. Showing good hand quickness, hitting himself and then dropping that hard elbow. A series of elbow drops leads to a cover, but still not able to put the cowboy away, which is amazing as this match progresses to see James Storm with that never say die attitude. But it's been minutes since he's been able to mount any kind of offense. Oh, Bully Ray definitely just completely from the beginning of the match, shutting down Cowboy James Storm. And inadvertently, you can thank. The World Heavyweight Champion Bobby Roode put James through hell in that match earlier tonight. Good point. Bully Ray totally taking advantage of the injured ribs in midsection of the Cowboy James Storm. That suffered at the hands of Bobby Roode earlier, as Taz just pointed out. And this has been a clinic from Bully Ray in taking advantage of an injured competitor. You see World Champion Bobby Roode, he's loving it right now, loving what's happening. Cowboy James Storm, but you better be careful. The Stinger with that cricket bat. He's watching Bobby Roode and Sting, so no outside interference. Oh! Series of right hands by Storm, but then it's the bully using the hair of the cowboy to drive him right back down to the canvas, and again, Bully Ray in control. Here we go, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, 300 pounder, Bully Ray goes airborne, and here's the pin attempt, and no, just another two count. Yeah, it is no fight back at all left inside Cowboy James Storm, and it's very understandable. The guys been put through hell here tonight. And, and, and I have to say, it was his own idea. It was his guts, it was his heart. It was his fortitude, he wanted this. And Sting granted it to him. The onslaught continues. Face first into the corner turnbuckle. Ah. And now with Storm set up, he's gonna expose the ribs. You can just hear that echoing right here in Wembley Arena, that stinging chop. Thousands witnessing it live. Perfect follow moves, a high vertical suplex. Storm crashes down to the canvas, and with every offensive move, Bully Ray makes eye contact. Burn on the hole right in Sting. We don't see this too often. 
Looks like the bully's gonna go high risk. Here he comes from the middle row. Well, that's why you don't see it too often. That's not in Bully Ray's wheelhouse. Being off the ground and jumping at top of things. Really not his strength. Sting pounding the cricket bat on the ring apron. The right. crowd here in Wembley Arena in London, England. Well, it's definitely, you can see Storm's feeding off of it. Well, they're into it. Storm as well. Here he comes. Here come the right hands. Bully Ray sent for the ride. Well, here comes the cowboy. A series of clotheslines. Bully back up to his feet again. Now the momentum's on the side of Storm, but it's quickly cut off. Out to the apron. Nice block. Blocked for the kick. Yeah, right block by Bully Ray. But then his neck snapped back across the top rope. right there. Nice flurry of moves put together by the Cowboy James Storm. Not enough to get the win on Bully. Oh, powerful side slam right into the pin. Wow, those ribs feeling after that side slam. The ribs and back of James Storm got to be killing him. Not often in our world. In a city like this here of London, that people are chanting for a guy from Tennessee that's called the Cowboy. Well, wait a minute, Con contact oh. made. We heard the chance of Let's Go Cowboy, but then the head of Bully Ray and the referee made contact. They collided yeah. and both men are down. The referee Brian had the down. Watch out, watch out. Well, just as, as quickly as Rude gets into the ring, and it looked like he was going to use the title belt as a weapon. Sting is there with the cricket bat as the great equalizer to neutralize the world heavyweight champion. Bully Ray looking for an assist. Yeah, Bully looking for Rude to return the favor. Ooh! Out of the corner, last call super kick, stacks up the bully, and gets the three count in the win. Well, you gotta call it where you see it, my man, and Sting was the difference maker in the right way there. Sting did the right thing, and that, that, that really helped James Storm win that match. Sting and the referee. The hand of James Storm up in the air in celebration as we go back and take another look. This is when Sting got involved. Yeah, everybody was down, including the ref, and then you could see the intentions on Bobby Roode, which they were probably not of a good one. Sting got rid of him. Storm took advantage of it. Real Bully Ray with that last call super kick. Victory goes to Cowboy James Storm. I don't know how he pulled it off, but he did it. Incredible night here at Wembley Arena in London, England. And remember, we're back next week from the UK. It's going to be a special Star Wars edition of Impact Wrestling as the Impact Invasion rolls on. <laughs>